to the 10th edition to of This Week in Fun. I am Sarah Lane, and of course I'm joined by my host, Martin Sargent. Martin! How you on? doing, Sarah? I'm good. Uh, you know, I know that I'm we... in Thousand Oaks, California. Well, yeah, I was going to say, I mean, I know where you are, but I think There's everyone else is wondering, everywhere. where the hell there... are you? Oaks everywhere around here. There are a thousand of them. There's supposedly. at least a thousand oaks. Tens of thousands, so I here. hear. Uh, yeah, I'm down here. I'm, uh, I'm at right uh, Molly's uh, sister's house right now at the dining room table. Uh, so you're down with, with Molly, um, Demo Girl, the girlfriend, the lovely and, and this, talented this, Demo Girl. This McDonald family. They know how to drink. Okay, so you had a bit of a, a night last night, so it, I hear. They're seasoned drinkers. Seasoned drinkers. It's, it was trouble. It so, was trouble. Do tell. There's not much to tell. In fact, I don't know if I want to rehash it. Did everything. anyone's pants status turn too off? It, it kind of, you know, you know, you, you get to the point when you, you drink, and sometimes you get into like those those kind of drunken, like political uh, debates that no one's ever going to win. It yeah. Kind of got uh, yes, to, I do. It got yeah. yeah uh, it was... and no, listen. No, you're not listening. No, you're no, not listening. On to me. Nobody's listening you to know anyone. What? That's the problem with you liberals. That kind of thing. Love those conversations. Some of my favorites. So you're down in LA, um, and we didn't do a show last week because I was in Austin, Texas. Well, that's right. You went to South by Southwest. I went to, oh, uh, you know, well, the people who go like to call it South by, Martin. You know, I don't do that, though. I don't use abbreviations. I will never call it South by. I will never call, it, it, this is what this reminds me of, like the people who talk about Broadway plays, like, oh, have you seen Phantom? <laughs> no, I haven't seen Phantom, but I, I love Les Mis. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that. So I will always call it South by Southwest. Uh, I know what you mean. In fact, I heard myself say South by I, I dropped right. the South by while I was there, and I immediately regretted it. And I washed right. my mouth out with the beer and a Red Bull. But, yeah, it was really fun. <laughs> you did that over and over and over again you know, that week. I did. I was 40% Red Bull by the end of the trip. It was four days it's, later. It's, it's, it's a lot of – it's, it's, it's um, somebody described it to me as spring break for adults. I've never been. It very much is – Spring break for adults, geek kind of. It is a spring breaky, geeky kind of a thing. Um and everyone was there but me. Everyone was there but you, kind of like last year. Um, <laughs> no, but but really, it, it was um, you know obviously the first few days are the South by Southwest interactive portion. Um, and the music part's going on right now. Music part's right? still going on, and it, I swear I shudder thinking that some of my friends are so, didn't get home a few days ago and are still there doing that kidding. thing of the drinking and the parties. How do, how do they do it. I mean, I had some one night drinks last night, and it's like. It's like that every night down there. I mean, I, I was following you. You looked at some of your tweets and everything. You guys were going strong every night. No, it was disgusting. It was. And it's it was, just like all, all, is it all open bar? All, all like these tech company parties and stuff like that? Uh, sometimes it's open bar. It depends on what you want. Um, you know, like, for example, there was a Facebook party one night and it was, you know, it was very, everybody wanted to go to that party. And, you know, Red Bull and vodkas were free. Nothing else was. I, I would hope so. I would hope that Facebook... I would hope that they have the money to uh, yeah, yeah. You know, buy, buy people some the, drinks. The problem is is that, you know, you get, you get this very warped sense of, you know, w what you should be doing. Um, so, you know, of course, we're all down there and we're like, free Red Bull and vodka, you know, because none of us could pay a couple dollars for the drink that we really want. So just go crazy. So I had nine of them, you know, and then... You had nine that night? Oh, easily, easily. Nineteen, Wait, perhaps. I they, don't really know the difference after. Was, what kind of pours were they? They were, you know, I got free kind of free drink pours. It was probably. free drink pours, but nine in, you know, I was lucky oh, to yeah. get down the stairs. Now, <laughs> when, when you do that, <laughs> but does, does the does the Red Bull does that cancel it out? I've never been like an energy drink drinker. Um, does the Red Bull and the vodka do they kind of cancel each other out, as it were, kind of like only that? only in your own mind? Okay. Uh, so that's really I, oh, that's, okay. That's I know exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's that. It's that. Well, it's, I'm okay to drive. That kind of thing. Well, it's 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 like I'm so awake. I'm so freaking yeah. awake right now. Let's party. Oh, the, the MySpace. Party I don't. Now. I don't even think I'm drunk. I should have another one. So yeah, it was um it was a it was a um S H I T show in many ways, <laughs> and it was great fun. I, I'm just now getting my voice back, sounding a little uh, like eighty old grandmother. Um, sorry, I said. Were there any big like? announcements like is it is it like uh like ces or some of these other 
things where people announced. I mean, I know Kevin Rose uh, announced We Follow. That's yeah, the only thing I heard about. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, you see, so you weren't even paying attention to any of that. I was, I was. There, there was, there was definitely some. There are definitely some opportunities for companies to, you know, get in front of a lot of people and talk about new stuff. Uh-huh. It's really and, taking a back burner. You know, there's a lot of panels. There's a, there's a lot of interesting it, conversation. Do you actually go to that kind of? Do you go to the panels, or are you too hungover to do the kind of stuff during the day and just store it up for the parties? Well, there's, there's definitely a there's different varieties of of South by Southwest goer. There's people who really go to the, they go to all the panels as many as possible. You can never see all of them because there's like five at a time and, and huh. on the hour. It's very annoying. Did you but, do any panels? Uh, well, I wasn't participating in any uh although i would have liked to in fact i did a call out on twitter and nobody got back to me that's fine it's probably a good thing because i wouldn't have shown up i, I had like three. eight eight invitations to speak on panels and you I still didn't oh i did you did well that's I'm nice a big, I'm, I'm a big wheel well you're kind of a big deal yeah I mean, that's true um yeah it was um it, it, i went to some panels um and they're very interesting you kind of just have to pick your battles and yeah. when there's 1,200 parties that start at 7 p.m. and go till 4, yeah, sometimes you miss a panel or two. Let's just be yeah. honest. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm back. I'm alive. You know, life goes on. <laughs> can I offer you a French fry? Uh, yes. Can I offer you a empty bottle of Thai Red Bull? Call can I offer you an empty bottle of bourbon? Because I think there's one in there. <laughs> sure. So Colleen, uh, oh, obviously, no, who works I, at Twit, uh, has introduced me to the Thai Red Bull, which apparently is very different than regular Thai Red Bull. Bull. Yeah. Oh, everyone out. Everyone goes to Thailand and gets a, a Red Bull shirt. You ever notice that? They yeah. all come home with yeah, a yeah. Bull shirt. Oh, God. Oh, I'm so sorry I just did that. Yikes. That did not smell pleasant. Not pleasant. Um, so, Martin, I was thinking. I just ate meat during Lent on Friday. I'm not Catholic. It's okay. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, uh, you're not? I thought you were. I thought no. This, I thought the sergeants were uh, of the Pope variety. Come on, Sarah. Yeah, I, I thought that. I don't Episcopalian. know. Episcopalian. Episcopalian. Okay, okay. I did know that. I did know Jeez. that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry wow. Gloria. Um, yeah, well, you just seem so Catholic. You're so... I'm, I'm quite churchy. You're, it's true. You're I like British. the pomp and circumstance of the Catholic Church, much of which is replicated in the Episcopal Church. Um, yes, Catholic light, I believe yes. they call it. Yes. My mo- my mother is currently a The only it. reason that a church exists is because Henry VIII wanted to get a divorce. 1535, Act of Supremacy. That's well, it. Don't let me stop him. Hey, man, hey. you're not happy. <laughs> you figure it something out. Something about it. But anyway, we don't have to get into... All of that. All of that. Certainly not. God, talk hot. about you have, tech. You have no idea it's... It's roasting. It's really, really hot in there. It's nice. Yeah. Now, is there anything it's else that I should know shirt. about South by big Southwest? Shirt. I don't know. Anything else? Are there, are there a lot of hook people hook up, get drunk? Oh, well, up, yeah, I mean, there were, okay. <laughs> were, there, were there any, like, pu- very public hookups that people were talking about? Well. Or I haven't been reading Valley Wag. I, I don't even think Valley Wag was on it. Um, I just know all this stuff because I was rooming with about seven boys. So, you know, after a while, they kind of forget them around, and you start hearing things. Well, I'm trying to think of who you were. I I'm don't use feel comfortable saying what I know. What is the process of elimination based on who, unless they were cheating on their significant others or husbands or wives? No, or I, I, I will say, I, I don't <laughs> know how much I want to talk about the hookup. No, wow. no, no, no. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. But I will say that there was... Um, there was some barfing. And who, who, not okay. by me. I want to know how many, me. Times, how many times did Prager puke and how many <laughs> people did Prager bang, men or women? Oh, well, I mean, the parameters are, I don't know. How do you narrow <laughs> that down? You're going to have to ask Prager. Oh, you're in double digits there? All I know, let's just sum it up, right? All I know is that Prager, <laughs> at one night, it was the, it was my last night there. Okay, let me tell you a little story. I'm sorry, Prager. I love you so much. Please don't hate me. Prager's Prager's crazy. Prager's crazy. Thank you, Colleen. You saw that whole homeless the thing. Windows. The homeless it's wonderful here now. Anyway, tell your story. We don't talk about the homeless guy. Oh, Prager's the homeless guy. guy. Well, believe me, yeah. Prager got he got about four hours to talk about it on Twit on Sunday. So everyone's oh. well aware. Uh, I have no idea. But um, no. Oh, I, yeah. 
Yeah, I love that Prager story. It's great fun. No, but one night, it was my last night there, and uh, everyone was back at the condo where we were staying. And it was 4 in the morning, and I had had enough. I mean, I had been up till at least 4 or 5 every night. No, who oh. does that? I'm an adult. Come on. I mean, I'm lucky to be up till 11. You're, you're, a, you're a grown woman. I'm a grown well. I like to pretend I am you're anyway. A- and so I was, I was really pissy and yelling at them. And you guys be quiet. Who has the airplane? Me. And so finally, they finally, yeah, they sort of were like, oh, Sarah's being, you know, she's ruining everything. So oh, I've everyone kind on, of I've slowly passed out. I've been wrong side of that before. Yeah, I know right. what they. Yeah. With. Yeah. Go ahead. Anyway, so, um, so every, you know, finally things got quiet, and I was like, finally, everyone's passed out. We can all go to sleep. Turns out Prager decided to go on the RVIP bus. At 5 in the morning to stay out till like 8 a.m. Our VIP bus being an RV with a karaoke machine inside of it that cruises all over Austin. I was in it for about five seconds. Very claustrophobic. Couldn't do it. And he got home, you know, so I wake up at, you know, 11 and he's getting up and he's like, you'll never guess what I did last night or this morning. And I'm, I'm looking, I'm like, what, are you a crazy person? Are you a robot or... You know, he's he's kind of amazing, the little uh, Prager. It's no. Like this it's, it's irritating. wind-up toy it keeps going. And it's he amazing. I mean, I've never really known. Prager. I've never really known Prager to be like really wasted. Like he he he, he holds it pretty well. I gotta time. say, I think it goes all over those calves. Cena wants her choice. He's got massive calves. There was one day at could check TV where Prager was not handling the day after very well, but that was <laughs> oh, really? just one of all the years I've known him. Huh. One time. That oh no okay there's two but that was because Kevin gave him Air- Everclear and told him it was vodka. Oh my god! It was at your house. That is such a, my house. That's correct. Your Which? old your old house on Bryant Street. Oh man, mm-hmm. there we had some parties there. <laughs> but but that see that is totally something that Kevin Rose would do. I know, shyster. A dick. But anyway, enough about that. Enough about that. We just totally we haven't We've even alienated any- pretty much all of our friends at this point. Yeah, um, I don't care. They, they enough about they us. Don't. Let's talk about Facebook. <laughs> Facebook. You know, we always so what, talk everyone about Twitter. with the redesign. Yeah. Well. Okay. So let me before before we get into what everyone thinks. What do you think about the redesign of Facebook, Martin I, Sargent? I doesn't bother me at all. Why not? Because I, you know, I barely even noticed. I barely even noticed. I, I don't think it's a big deal. Obviously, they're trying to emulate Twitter a little bit. That's fine with me. I like Twitter better than Facebook in a lot of ways. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, it. I'm cool with it. And every time there's a redesign of any sort of software, this happens. And everyone, in, in two months, it's going to be a non-issue. And then until the next redesign, it was like, oh, we have to go back to this that last re- thing. It was great. Yeah, That's- I know what you mean. Um, of course, now, for those who are who are watching this story closely, um, yeah. th- this, of course, is the is the very popular, it's, it's an app that was built uh, to let people vote on whether or not they like the new Facebook design, right? So, I mean, Ooh. it's pretty... So yes. I, I went ahead and I, I, I joined the app because, quite honestly, you know what? I'm kind of with you, Marty. I'm not really... I don't care that much. I mean, Seriously, I, I, I it's kinda Facebook. Care. I, I, kinda I, I care. know bent out of shape about something like that. Yeah, but it's like, I don't... I mean, I'll get, I'll get over it, you know what I mean? But yeah. if you look at, I mean, the statistics of... First of all, a lot of people have signed up for this app. Um, and of the people who signed up... By the way, I don't say app either. Remember, I don't use abbreviations. I say oh, application. stop it. It's true. You d- you've... I would say the iPhone application store. Oh, my God. That is such a lie. Lie. It's because you don't have an iPhone. Okay. Anyway, the Facebook application, um, almost ni- 985,000 and growing folks have voted against the new look while only just over 60,000 have voted for. So it's wildly not in favor of Facebook redesign. Um, now, of course, you know, if you go, if you go to the main page, it's, you know, it looks a lot like Twitter. And everybody's saying, oh, you know, what's Zuckerberg thinking? It looks so much like Twitter. And in fact, um, there was a, actually kind of a good quote. Uh, you know who Jason Kotke is, right, of Kotke.org. He's sure. cool. He's a good dude. He wrote, it was kind of a funny uh, little, uh, little Twitter quote. The new Facebook provides provides definitive proof that Twitter and Tumblr had sex 40 weeks ago, and then Zuck stole the baby from the hospital. That's the line right there. That's by the, way, the one. By the way, I would never say Zuck. I would say Zuckerberg. I wouldn't say Zuck either because I don't know him well enough. I'm wondering, though, if he had to say Zuck because if he didn't, he would not have gotten the 140 characters. 
Um, that's very possible because, yeah. you know, and, you know I'm gonna, I have no, so little to do in my life right now. I may actually count how many characters are in this thing later. Right now? That's, no, not now. Okay. I mean, it's, like, <laughs> I like, one time, it's the one time of the week I have something to do. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, interesting. So I'll just go, you know, I'll just go to the home. Every, everyone's got a Facebook profile. It's not really necessary for me to pull it up, but for anybody who's, you know, sort of interested. I, I still use <laughs> friends more than than anything. You use friend feed? Friendster. Oh, Friendster. Oh, you made this joke a couple weeks ago. Did you I? do not. You Isn't do it? not. Uh, yeah, so it looks like Twitter. I don't know. I feel like we'll all get over it. You know, what, what else is there to say? You know? Uh, I know what there is to say. What? Uh, this is a much more important story Please go in on. my mind. Yes? The USB prosthetic finger. Yeah, so tell me about this because, uh, this quite frankly, I'm a little confused. What are you confused about? This dude named Jerry Jalava, he was in a motorcycle accident okay. last year. He right. a finger. Thank God that's all that happened to him. A motorcycle accident is going to be very dangerous, of course. Of course. So he decides to take advantage of the situation. He has a prosthetic finger attached, and he puts a, there's now a USB drive going through the guy's finger. Yeah, and here's the picture. On which, isn't that just, it's, it's gnarly looking. Uh, on which, yeah, I'm not a fan. He I has understand. on this guy must be like the biggest nerd in the world. He's got the full Linux operating system on the drive on his finger. So his finger carries Linux. No, no. As well as the movie Freddy Got Fingered. That for <laughs> I mean, this, this guy's got no t you look at the picture of the guy, he doesn't have much taste. Uh no uh, no now let's now let's just be honest here. That picture that is not he's just it's just a little something he slips in, like a you know, like a, like you know, a thumb. You you're, know, you're you're right. And it's, not, when it's I, not part of his see, finger. When I first saw this story, when I wanted to include it and actually wanted it to be pretty high up, I legitimately thought I don't know what I was looking at. I thought he was like Robo I Man. I legitimately thought that that was like a, a, a like it had been like a, a surgically thing. But it's it, you're right. It's just sort of like a. It's a what, it's, what is it's that? Kind of, what, what is that thing that women wear when they don't want to get poked with pins? A, th a thimble. thimble. A thim it's thimble. like a thimble. A USB thimble. That's what it is. Looks like skin. Come on, dude. You can do a little better than that. I, I was hoping you were like RoboCop or something. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. But uh, but it's you know it's interesting nonetheless. Uh, you know I I, I, I commend him. I commend I him for his hate. ingenuity. I don't, I don't commend him for his taste. No. I love Linux. Oh, Linux is awesome. Linux is great. Uh, well, you know, long live Linux. It's Linus it's Torvalds, always a big hero. Of slim. Mine. Um, you know <laughs> what? Uh, who else is a hero? Uh, who? Maybe not a who, but a what? Um, it's funny because I was just watching a weird documentary the other night about guano, bat guano, and and how you know people are like using oh, it to mean, like fertilize mean, uh, you know, fields and yeah, it's bat poo. That's what guano oh, is. Everyone drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, wish I, I wish I had something other than water, but it is in a uh, nice wine somebody, glass. So. Somebody uh, just slipped me oh, uh, what, what I suspect is the last of what I did not drink last Martin night. Martin Sargent, I'm surprised at you. Wow. You know what? It's it's Friday. It's fun day. You know, you got to have your whiskey. It's cool. You're at <laughs> the McDonald's. Fine. You're at the McDonald's, right? That's right. But you're talking about the, the, the guano. I'm I didn't talking mean, about the bad I, guano. I, I, it, it's not really about bat guano, although I, I think bat guano is kind of fascinating if it makes plants grow. But uh, <laughs> you got me thinking about how much I like bats and how cute I think they are. And then I come across a story about how a cute little bat who, who had a broken wing was, uh, was, was flown into space recently. This, this was tragic. So, um, so what what went on here, Sir Sergeant? Uh, uh, because I, I, it's almost too painful uh, for me to say. A it. bat. They they spotted a bat. Yeah. Right before, like during the countdown. Right. The space shuttle discovery. Yeah, on the side of the shuttle. On the side of it, just sort of you know, sort of lamping up there on the side of the thing, cool and uh, he, uh, he, you know, they thought that he was gonna uh, fly away, but he didn't. He decided to go up for the ride, and they, of course, think that he did not make it. The yeah. bat. Did not make it, the, but the it, bat did uh, not survive. Um, bat did not survive. However, um, you know, you gotta here. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up a picture because he's such a cute little guy. Really do get the photo. 
Yeah, it's 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 adorable here. Check here's that out. here's why bad. though. I think that this is an interesting story. I feel sorry for the bat. I do too but because look at him. He wanted to go to space. To me, <laughs> he's a little astronaut bat. He's a little astro bat. He's, he's Neil Armstrong of bats. Actually, yeah. no, that's, that's a wrong One analogy. Small a leap for bats. Yeah. The the thing wow. is, had it not been for this bat, sweet little who thing. gave his life trying to explore space it's for all bat kind, we beautiful. probably not we wouldn't have I would not even have heard of that the space that this is what it takes now for the space shuttle to get pressed either a, tr a horrible horrible tragedy or an animal dying. You know what? You're absolutely space, space right. Space shuttle comes up, right? You're right because you know it's funny. Um, I'm working at you know current these days, and and obviously. Oh, are you? How's yeah. that? It's really good. Um, in fact, just want to take this quick opportunity to follow me at current underscore news on Twitter, where I talk about newsy things. It's kind of different for me, uh, but it's fun. Um, I, I you know I try to bring the funny. Anyway, uh, so anyway, the, the group there is extremely newsly inclined, if you could, if you could say that. They're, you know, a bunch of news freaks. And, Sounds like and bad they're, work over. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> they're, they're always talking about, uh, you know, NASA stuff and space shuttle launches. And half the time I'm like, there's another launch? What? I, you know, I, I, I hear, hear about this. I, you know, I don't know what's going on. So, of course, the bad story, you know, is something that, that was on my radar. So, you know, it's, it's, um, it's sad. But I do believe that the bat sacrificed his life for the good of all uh, bat kind. Um, and I commend him for that. R.I.P. Space Bat. R.I.P. <laughs> for, for, for my baddies. Pouring out a little liquor for the baddies? Why don't you pour yeah. it out? Come on. Do it right. Because it's not my house. And I'll get it all over my pruder. Oh. I've already spilled wine on this poor people's rug. I did that last night. I'm not going to pour whiskey on it, too. That sounds about right. Um, <laughs> that's, that's how I kick it. So what else uh, is fun today uh, 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 in your I'm wild thinking, world of uh, sports? Uh, try, I'm trying to find the story here. This, 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 this was, I think, my favorite story of the week. Uh, somebody at Wellesley College, they did uh, uh, a, a survey Right. Some sort of study asking um, all the student, all the people at the, you know, well, it's a very good liberal arts school. Yeah. They asked all yes. the uh, student body if they were virgins or not, and then they corresponded that to what their college majors were. And, oh my! What were the and results? The result, the all tell. the all the stereotypes are true. Okay. Everything came up just like everyone expected it to. In fact. Uh, uh, pull up that chart. Show the people this chart. All right, I'm sure For example, the, chart. Uh, it, the, the studio art majors, the studio, 0%, 0 percent, zero percent of so them are virgins. virgins. On the other eight, end of the spectrum, right? Here we go. mathematics, 83 percent. Is it because now? It, now, okay. L let me ask a, a, a question here, a very important question here. Let me. Uh, there we got our little survey here. So as you can see, over on one side. Zero studio art students are virgins, or so they say. So they say. And 83% uh, are mathematics majors, followed, of course, by chemistry slash biochemistry, right. poli-sci, biology, and international relations. That's kind of relations. interesting, poli-sci, because obviously, you know, politicians... Once they become politicians, they're they sex all over the place. Politicians. Hi, Hi Lucas. Here, here, here's Lucas. Oh, hey, and, Luke. Uh, uh, now you're on television, now, Lucas. Now, what is your major, Lucas? And, and does uh, it relate think, to our graph? Lucas, yeah, no, don't block it. <laughs> Lucas can't hear you because Lucas... Oh, right. Folks. Lucas, what are you majoring in, in what are you, in, in kindergarten? What's your major? Poo. And cookies. Oh, cookies. Oh. And cookies. oh, that's adorable. Oh, oh, that's nice. oh, and here's Amanda, too. Come here, Amanda. Let's get, get, let's get in. I, I love the uh, the CG it, it, under yeah. you guys. It's very apropos. Yeah, a little bit farther in, Amanda. Let me lift you up. Oh, there she. Oh, that there's looks like Amanda. a McDonald. There's Amanda. It's like a little Molly. What's up? Okay. Now, now screw off, kids. <laughs> <laughs> but, so back, anyway, back but back to the, the virgin back students. To the I know now the kids are around. We're talking about virginity. <laughs> So what was oh, your that's major? Be you, good. You Sorry, majored McDonald in, family. You majored in uh, tele, television, sure, or broadcasting? Yeah. I, I guess uh, they don't offer that. Well, it's the liberal arts because they don't offer that. I was we were all English, having sex. Let's just say that I was an right English now. major. Uh, Fifty percent uh, of us. So fifty percent of us. Yeah. So you guys were uh, glass half full. Uh, you know, because either was, way. 
I, I think I was like 28 years old by the time I... But, yeah, uh-huh. So, um, I have to say, uh, you know, it, it's sort of like, you know, what came first here, the mathematics student or the amount of work <laughs> it took for them to, <laughs> to not be able to have international relations, uh, so to speak? Um, I don't know. It's, it's fascinating uh, and yet unsurprising. No, it's, it's not at all. Not at all. Um, and that's why I think... It's fun. Uh, it is fun. It is fun. Uh, yeah. Also, uh, not as fun, though. Uh, what? Of course. Of course, our friends over in Nigeria. Nigerian of the Nigerian money scams. Yeah, um, but apparently, time. it's it's. What they it, do now? They're, they're always going for a different kind of scam. Why do these guys corner the market on these internet scams? Uh, what the Nigerians? Yeah, and the bigger question is, Couldn't tell you. why do people keep falling for it? It's really unbelievable. This is kind of a sad story. Uh, uh, a, a Nigerian undergraduate student, I wonder what his major was. Poli sci. Was sentenced to 19 years in prison for obtaining 47,000 pounds from an Australian woman uh, by convincing her over the internet that he was 57 years old, white, and madly in love with her. This is a terribly sad story. Oh, and Why? she wanted him to be. She wanted him to be, of she, course. She wanted a Nigerian boyfriend. It's, it's almost like that Simpsons episode with, with Bart and Mrs. Kerbopple. And, and, and the fake pen pal it's and all so that. Sad. And, and you feel so bad for these people, and at the same time, you feel that they are so stupid. You know, yeah. You think, How could, what's wrong? Why do you fall for this? Why do you, why why do you, do you do not it? understand the internet? Why? I mean, I guess they're not stupid. They're, they're uninformed. You know what? I, the scam that I love what? is uh, uh, I get these calls maybe two, three times a week from uh, saying that your, your, your car warranty is expired. <gasps> Oh that? my god, I was getting on my iPhone for a while and the first time I got it I thought, what? My car warranty? And someone uh -huh. laughed at me and said, you must be the last person on earth who's not gotten <laughs> one of these already. So, I, I always engage them in conversation because I, I don't have anything to do really and I want to waste all of their time so that you know they can't victimize oh, other yeah, people. It's, you, you turn the tables. So, you know, the first thing I always say, of course, is I do. I turn it right around on them. First thing I always do is, I, yeah, this is fantastic. I would love to get a, a, a new warranty on my car. And it's always so what kind of car do you have? It's 1984 Cadillac Eldorado. And there then, they go. Yeah, but this last, this last time they called, mm -hmm. they actually, you know, they, they kept passing me through, like, to, like, higher and higher levels. And they approved it. They approved the warranty on my 84 Cadillac Eldorado. They had to pull a lot of strings to do this. And then, like, after a half hour, like, the guy was like, Sir, are you just trying to waste our time? Wow. Like, yes, I, absolutely. Wow. I, I, WWE I, I, SmackDown. Call me, man. You know, you I can't. actually, I got so angry at the warranty, um, the warranty thing on my phone that, you know, I, I waited and I held on, and I never got through. Uh, I tried <laughs> twice, and they just ended up hanging up on me. I was very upset. You know um, what I wanted to I wanted to, and it doesn't work because there is a number that shows up on your phone. I wanted to tweet it to my vast legion of followers and say, everyone call this number all day long, but uh, you can't but think you can't. it through. Well, they're yeah. smart. Those people are smart. So Know what they're doing. They must be from Nigeria. So uh, the student, um, you know, he's probably pretty sorry that he did this now because 19 years, 19 years in jail is no laughing matter. No. Uh, not fun, although I can't say I feel real sorry for him. Because oh. he was mean, you know. He was. Uh, the British and Australians are nice people, by and large. I like how he called himself Benson Lawson to this it's poor a great woman. Name. This guy, it, this no, is, it's, he's obviously done his homework. Benson. Remember, I love that show, Benson. So she didn't think she was getting a Nigerian friend. She thought it was a nice Brit, <laughs> after all, which is. Just... She thought it was Benson Dubois, Lieutenant Governor, uh, under Governor Gatling on the show Benson. Former butler on the television program House, not House Soap. Soap. There's a program. Soap. There's a television program called Soap. There used to be back Man. in the day. It's like how Billy Crystal got his start. Soap on a TV show called Billy Soap. Crystal, the gay man. Am I? Yeah. Stupid? Am I the only person who doesn't know that? You know Soap. Soap. I know. I know like what a soap opera is. This is I the story the of soap one dish. family. Blah blah blah. Look it up. I. I. Uh, there was search on it. Back in the 70s. Well, you're a lot older than me. I, I was probably not I'm alive. not a lot older than you. You are. You're like five years older than me. That is such a lie. 
You were, why born, do you, you were why, born in why 1969. Do you, why do you look all haggard, you old crow? Because I drink too much. <laughs> Sometimes engage in peyote retreats. Uh, and, that's uh, like a sweat lodge ceremony. That's right. Clear. Pores. No, I, 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 you know, you know, it's funny. I, I, well, this always goes into whether or not I think I might have a drinking problem. I don't think I have one. I just don't oh. think I have a lot of self control. <laughs> That's my yeah. problem. Self control. Yeah. Well, you know, but you know what? Fun. I feel like you and might. If anyone knows fun, it's you and I. Uh, that's right. That's why we do a show about it. That's right. It's fun. Uh, it's fun. I'm done talking about the Nigerians. Why give them any play? Yeah. Oh, the other thing, you ever try to sell a car on Craigslist and they all, the Israelis always contact you and want you to ship it? Uh, no, not, no. If, no. But I, yeah. but I have had somebody want, you know, to ship me a car or, you know, in Arizona or somewhere where I'm like, way too much work. You know, if you live within 20 miles of me, let's talk. I do, however... Um, I am sick and tired. Obviously, you recently have been looking for cars because poor Molly got her car stolen. Oh, she got the car back. Car was recovered. Uh, What's car, happening car, now? Car was recovered, but now it's 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 impounded and it got towed. And because uh, now we're down in Los Angeles and it, we're she's having to pay the storage fee every day. It's nonsense. Oh God! Oh. And if you guys weren't coming back tomorrow, I would get the damn thing out but it just no, doesn't really make can't. sense i would have point. asked you to because, because first of all it looks like we uh, i think they punched the ignition so you, you wouldn't even be able to get it with the key punch and, it with a fist is that like a thing oh what does punch, like, punch mean you know like it was screwdriver or whatever it's how they oh like it, it, it's a thief uh, thief term uh, well, yeah okay. us foot pads do yeah. that kind of thing. right uh -huh. um and you, you, you're gonna have to get a release form and id because it was a stolen car so it it, it wouldn't have been practicable so, I am glad that the car is back, although it sounds like it's been, uh, one big headache. Uh, uh, we still don't know if it's, like, been gutted or anything. Yeah, like, are there, is there, like, a passenger seat, you know? Uh, there was, there, I got my car stolen a few years ago, and um, the passenger seat uh, was replaced with a lawn chair. <laughs> I don't know where the seat <laughs> went, but somebody was reclining. <laughs> It's true. That's awesome. It wasn't that awesome, because Did, then, did you drive around in a lawn chair? Um, I don't, I don't know what happened. I, I don't, I don't know what happened with this car. I, I don't want to know because you feel so violated. You know, <laughs> it's like you get your car back and you think, they put their stupid lawn chair in here. The car was totaled, even though it was found after being stolen because, frankly, it wasn't worth that much and didn't have a passenger seat anymore. So it was a very sad story. But my, you know, my, my, my very long story that what I was getting at the beginning was, you and I have both been familiar lately with looking at cars on Craigslist, and there are so many cars that have salvage titles. Now, as far as I am, as far as my understanding works, if a car is a salvage title, you're not going to get very good insurance for it. Most insurance companies don't want anything to do with salvage title because it's not, you know, the prim and proper. I don't know anything about it. I don't use insurance. They yeah, do. That's who needs it. Oh well, I, Molly would have. Molly yeah. could have. <laughs> could have uh, benefited from a little insurance. Sure could have. Anyway, I want to know who all these people are uh, with the salvage title, cars. Anyone? Why? You know, because all the deals always seem too good to be true, and then they'd have a salvage title, and I wouldn't be able to talk to the people anymore. And they all seem shady. All the ones that I talk to, all shady. Right. So, you know, what's going on? I don't know. What? God. I don't get it. You're not even helping. Speaking of crime. Yeah. What about uh, it? Uh, real quick, this, this 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 online TV show now or a podcast, whatever you want to call it, 60-days.com. This guy got put on house arrest for 60 days. I think this is a brilliant idea. He decided to turn lemons into lemonade. He's doing a whole, like, reality show about him being on house arrest. Um, yeah. So I could do that because I'm basically sitting at home every day. So the the website is 60 dash as in hyphen days. Yeah, and I'd love to know what this guy did, but based on like watching a little bit of it, seeing his friends, I guarantee it was a drug crime. Um, really? Wow. Really? Now, I mean, I feel like we're, you know, one for one on stereotypes today, so you're probably <laughs> right. I, you know, should I play a little bit of it? I don't want it to get uh, all weird on no, Every this. time we play videos, um, every time we play videos, it doesn't bad. work right. And it's just, yeah, you know, I don't even have really anything else to say about it. I just thought it was a, it's just, a really it's just, good concept. If you're interested in, in, in watching a possibly uh, a parolee, or, well, I guess, was he, is he on parole or is that, that just all he got was house arrest? I don't know. I think he looks all right. Look at him. He's got a nice nose ring, he's doing the ear stretching. 
You know, uh, what, what could be wrong with him? I hate that ear stretching oh business. Oh my God, so do I. It's disgusting. Can I ask? I mean, why? can you help me understand why why the ear I stretching? I don't get it. I don't get it. Do you live in Burundi? I, I don't. I don't understand. It's like five thing. I I, I want to understand why the ear stretching because you, they get they get big and ah, I, kids. I, uh, but they're not kids. Yeah. They're they're rarely very young at all. They're usually everyone's like, tiny. Is it like an alter? Is it like yeah. some alternative thing? Is yeah, like, you know. Is it all they're net? Just, they're just trying to be different. Well, no, this but, body modification thing is getting crazy, though. Ever see that website, uh, bmezine.com? Really? Oh, my gosh. Some of the stuff that's up there. Wow. I, don't, I wouldn't even pull it up because God knows what's going to come up. I mean, I'm as bored as the next guy. Don't get me wrong. But I don't want to stretch my earlobes out, no. you know, because then once they're stretched, then, you know, once you change your mind, what do you got to do? Have surgery? And you got like your ears kind of weird, and uh, you're 65, years, well, and that nice lady down bad. the hall doesn't want anything to do with you because you got some effed up ears. No, no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that nice lady down the hall. Living at the terraces <laughs> with my grandmother. Gotcha. Oh God, I, I don't even know if she knows. I don't even think she could follow this. Well, she couldn't follow the show anyway, but. I love you, Nanny, but it's not for you. But the ear stretching, she she gets very upset about things like that. I think if she saw my tattoo, she'd say, Now, why would you want to do such a terrible thing like that? Why don't you just want to be a nice lady? Um, <laughs> Have you met any nice men yet? I know we, someone. Uh, did she say that? Yeah. Great. She doesn't have a very good memory. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm Thank laughing. goodness. <laughs> so, um, you know, um, I, there, I, I don't know about you, but I sure have noticed quite a few trends about, uh, you know, the, you know, the, the sort of uh, as seen on TV blankets and oh, snuggy. The snuggy, yeah, the snuggy. Now, do you have one of those? That, that's the that's the thing. It's no, like, it's but I really, I, I, you know, I said. I said that I was going to order us both Snuggies when we were going to do the show on Snuggies. I was going to surprise you. And now it's like already been done. I've seen it all over the place. Yeah. Tracy Morgan was on some. I think he was on, been, what's his name, Jimmy done. Fallon That's show. Yeah, name. exactly. Well, this is like what it first came But I found something that has not been overdone. A, co- a competitor, you say. Uh, uh, y- y- you might say that. It's the Lippy Selk Bag. Okay. Lippy Selk Bag. It is right. a. Let's take a look at this. A sleepwear Whoa. system. Hello. It's an awesome idea. It's a wearable sleeping bag. Isn't that tremendous? You know that. It's a great idea. Because you, you know you go camping and you're freezing awesome. and say, get up. You know, want to go to the bathroom and always Check stay. Check these guys out. Because you got to get out of your sleeping bag and get up and go out and do. Well, I guess you'd still have to unzip it to do that, but you know, you, you know what I'm saying. You could sit around the fire in your sleeping bag. It'd be nice. And it's, it's only. Great. Oh, I was going to say I'm looking at shipping. I was going to say it's only. Hundred and sixty nine dollars. Oh, hundred and sixty nine dollars. That's kind of a lot. That's good value. I don't know. Is it? Is yeah, it? Well, it's a really good sleeping bag. Um, I guess. It's adorable, is what it is. Now, wow. I, I, you know, I like the idea. However, uh, you know, and and tell me if I'm crazy here, but when I'm camping, which I never do, but I have in the past, but when I'm camping, you kind of want to be like, you want to like feel like you're in a bed. You know, you kind of want to like, like the the skin on your legs to. Touch each other. I don't know if I want to be like encased every part of all my limbs encased in the in the snuggly fabric, uh, especially if it's made of down, which this looks like it is, and it's going to get really hot. And what if you kind of just I, would would it feel claustrophobic? Um, I I don't know. Having well, that, I feel one. like you should think but, about this. This is important. These are important questions. Um, no, I I think it would be snug. <laughs> uh huh. And warm. Well, for you, I mean, do they have extra tall size? Well, I mean, imagine how awful it would be if your feet were, what would you do? I don't know. I mean, I think I'd be all right. I don't know. I'd swim around in the torso area. But here's what I do know, Sarah. What? We're running out of time. We are? We are. All right. Because I got to go to this thing. What time do we start? What do you, where do you have to go? I got to go to this, like family party thing oh that well all right that I, that's fair. I, 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 my hands are tied that's fair my hands are tied i know i but i understand but, but you have time to play a little tweet beat 
about tweet beat. Now, Martin, I have to be honest with you. I wasn't sure that you were going to come through on tweet beat today I because you were here and it's a little different. Good. Let so me excited. remind you and anyone who's listening for the first time, teach them how we play tweet beat. I'm going to give you two topics that people on Twitter might be nattering on about. All right. You need to tell me which of those topics they're talking about more incessantly. Lucas, no. Over the past 24 hours, all right? For example, if I said which has a louder tweet beat, Beijing or first day of spring, you'd probably say. Uh, first day of spring. Exactly, because today because is, today is first the day. day of spring. Even though there's an ass load of people in Beijing. So uh, chances are there's a lot of people tweeting about Beijing. In fact, there were Beijing a lot of Beijing is not important, as important so, as the blossoms. Today. So you understand the rules? Yes. yes. Good, then let's play Tweet Beat. Let's Here play. is your, what are we playing for? Okay. Well, no. So, okay. We we we've got a bit of a conundrum today because here, you are here, nowhere with here. me. Here's what we're playing for. All right. If I win, you have to pick me up from the airport on Saturday. Ah. Uh, Come on. What time are you coming back? Three or something. Okay. Uh, I I'm getting a haircut. I'm getting the, oh, I'm getting oh, a pixie cut. No, no, no. But listen, listen. Hear me out. It's at 9 a.m. So I'll, oh, I'll totally be done great. by then. But I'm and not if, picking your ass up if I win. Actually, that's uh, kind of rude. I feel like I should either way. Should. I really should. I can uh, do what, that. What if you win? Uh, what if you win? Well, if, if you're going to pick me up anyway, let's just play for drinks. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's, play, do for, that. Here let's is, play for drinks. Here is your first challenge. Okay. NCAA picks or Special Olympics? NCAA picks or Special Olympics? This is a dirty play because Obama mentioned Special Olympics on a widely viewed episode of Jay Leno last night. However, uh, what was the other one? Oh, eh, obviously, it's, Mar it's March Madness. NCAA picks or Special Olympics? Man, ooh, this might be the toughest one yet. Um, ooh, gosh, ooh, gosh, ooh, gosh. I, th I, no, I'm, I'm going to talk this through a little bit. Even though Special Olympics was mentioned, and some people got a little eh about, you know, not thinking that it was a bit, a little off color uh, on Obama's part. I feel like that was one airing, and mm -hmm. NCAA picks are going to go on for a little while. So I'm going with NCAA picks. Judges, you are incorrect. Oh, my, What? NCAA picks was tweeted about only 183 times over the past 24 hours, whereas Special Olympics over 1,500 times. Remember, I can only tabulate up to 1,500. That is so... It, it's, it must have been 150,000 times. Lame. Everyone's talking about special things. You're zero for one. Well, you know Are what? You... So is the chat room. Thanks for nothing, okay. guys. Here's your next challenge. All right. I'm ready. Spring break mm -hmm. or earthquake? Ooh, spring break. Spring break or earthquake? Which has a louder tweet beat? Spring break, obviously. You know, the, the kids all go down to the Lauderdales and the and the uh, the South Padres and the Cancuns, and they do their I, thing, that, that. copulate with each other. Um, the earthquake, uh, Tonga. A uh, little uh, bit of an earthquake, volcano, and the tsunami warning, and blah, blah, blah. It was pretty interesting. Uh, I feel like because of those amazing photos of the volcano erupting and then the earthquake that came after and everyone saying, where's Tonga? I'm going with earthquake. Judges, you are incorrect. Oh, my God. Spring break was meant <laughs> Over 1,500 times, whereas Earthquake, only why? 671 times. Why? Why? Uh, for two, why you are Arch picking have up from forsaken and buying the Lord, drink. Lord, and, Lord. Wow, this is the worst you've ever done. Are you ever. ready for your final challenge? Yeah, I've already lost, but sure. Why don't you stick the nail in my coffin? I'm I ready. Think, okay. Look at, look at how happy you are, by the way. I'm I hate gloating. you. I'm gloating. This is a, I, my, I strongly my dislike you at this moment. <laughs> A bad day is turned into a wonderful. Here is your final challenge. Right. Steve 
Wozniak or Baby Got Back? Steve Wozniak or Baby Got Back? Baby Got Back? Do, 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 As in do, do, Sir Mix-a-Lot? L.A. Face with the Oakland Booty? Uh, <laughs> you almost can deny. Uh, good song. Oh, great my song. God. Great song. Becky. Any girl named Becky, I always think of that song forevermore. I'm sorry all the Beckys of the world. It's kind of cool you're in the song. Uh, okay, so Baby Got Back or... Steve Wozniak. Steve Wozniak. Steve Wozniak. He was on Dance with the Stars. I saw anyone talks about it on Twitter. Judges, you are incorrect. Oh, my God. I'm it's so embarrassed. It's unbelievable, but Steve Wozniak was only tweeted about 23 times over the past 24 hours, whereas Baby Got Back... Why? 28 times. What am I missing? What am I missing? What? What? No, but why? I was so excited. I was so excited when I, I did I, that copy because I knew you were not going to get that right. It is the, the trickiest tweet beat ever. Oh, whatever. I've only lost once. I've lost once out of 10. I'm 9 for 10. I'm still an A. I am a <laughs> solid A. But can you please tell me what Baby Got Back is all about? Why, why do I? Why? I don't know. People are just... Sweet baby got back. Gee, looks like there's an earthquake at your house. Watch that laptop. Uh, uh that's stupid. It's dumb. Twitter's you f thou art. For I mean, I would have me. thought that like even if Steve Wozniak wasn't on Dancing with the Stars, he wouldn't be out. Baby got back. You know, uh, and everyone was talking baby about. Baby got back. Are we missing something here? Chat room. Do you guys know? Only twenty. Only twenty three. Anyway. Sheesh. You're zero for three. I'm zero for three, and I'm quite frankly humiliated i might as well just go drink by myself at this point even though i said i would go dry this week oh really uh, well because Post. i i Post. south Post. south by southwest was south by was it was very poisonous i, I poisoned by. myself i never barfed but you know i probably would have felt better if i did yeah. very sorry for any minors watching the show don't don't drink if you're under 21 um yeah, well, you know, I'm depressed. Thanks for that. <laughs> Look at you, smug jerk. You got it. Uh, I, I enjoyed the show. I enjoyed I the show too, Martin. The show was fun. The show was fun. Um, of course, you're Martin Sargent at Martin Sargent on Twitter. Um, mm -hmm. uh, plus, Steve, you, is it we, the, the Martin at uh, twit.com? That works, right? Martin at twit.tv. Twit.tv, Twit of course, is your email address. I, of course, am Sarah Lane at, uh, you know, at Sarah Lane on Twitter. Um, you can also email me at Sarah at Twit.tv. You can email both me and Martin if you just want to talk to us both at once. Um, but email's kind of for the birds. You know, I don't know. I feel like... I still like email. If, in this day and age, there's so many I'll other ways to get a hold of us. But if you want to... Uh, talk to us privately, and we're not Twitter friends, and you need more than 140 characters. Please email us. Um, besides that, I think you're free to go, sir. Okay. I think that was a good show. Hey, no. everyone out there, thank you so much for watching, Sarah. Thanks for uh, holding down uh, uh, the fort there. And uh, Martin, anytime. I anytime guess I'll, at all. I'll call you later about the airport thing and everything. All right. Oh yeah, right. That. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, this is a great day. It was. It was fun. Goodbye, Internet. Goodbye, everyone.